women don't realize that they are being controlled by a Jezebel spirit, whether it be your wife, your mother, sisters, someone you know that influence you, dominate you, and try to control you. You'll have a lot of good men out there, but bad stuff start happening to them because they are being influenced by the Jezebel spirit. Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Welcome to Sin Tech, man. My name is Jay Sin. Coming back with another one, man. Listen, man, I wanted y'all to see that clip with Living With Taja on TikTok, man. Shout out to Living With Taja. She be dropping gems on there for real, for real. If you're on there, go follow. But for real, man, it's just like she said. It's a lot of good guys out there that's being controlled by the Jezebel spirit. And the Jezebel spirit is real you know a lot of us have been under these spells and then and we don't never want to go back you know what i mean that's what landed us here that's what landed us on semen retention on no fat bruh and that's the crazy thing when you think about pornography bruh because the de demonic spirits behind that listen bruh the jezebel spirit behind that shit too you know what i'm saying that's why it's so demonic that's why it's so intriguing. That's why it's so addictive. That's why it's so dark, bruh. And that's why a lot of us ended up addicted to that shit, bro. For real, for real. And that's just what we looking at through the eyes. And like I always tell you, the eyes are the windows to our soul. So we was letting that shit in and we was being controlled by that. You know what I mean? Sometimes you probably ain't even know why you was fat. You ain't even know why you was watching porn. Sometimes, man, I find myself watching porn in places to where I know I shouldn't have been watching it at. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't fapping, but I was just watching the shit. You know what I'm saying? It's because my mind was being controlled. You know what I mean? And then oftentimes, too, you'll be wondering, like, man, how the hell did fapping become a routine? You know what I mean? So we will be doing this shit not even knowing that we was being controlled by that spirit, that we was being controlled by demonic energy. That's why we got to be more careful because when we get into these relationships and we start dipping and dabbling in some of these women out here, bro, listen, you can be easily controlled then because now you dealing with them in the physical. You know what I'm saying? And before you know it, you done spent all your money up. You know, you doing everything she telling you to do is guys out there that's going through that shit right now. Before you know it, they married. They in a toxic relationship. They got these kids and all of that shit. Listen, bruh, it's just like, yo, I had to share this message with y'all so y'all can take heed to this shit. Not end up in some of these situations, bruh, because before you know it, dog, you don't even know why you doing shit. And you don't know that you being controlled. And even with your with your family and people around you, bro. Listen, your mom could be always taking your girl's side. You know what I'm saying? And you don't even know that your moms could possibly have that Jezebel spirit in you. And she the one that's telling you, oh, you know, to go get married. She the one that's telling you that your girl is always right. She the one that's telling you to just bow down. You know what I mean? Some of y'all don't think about that shit. You know what I'm saying? You just disregarding the whole fact. You just thinking about it just being your mom. You just thinking that you ain't thinking about it that it's a that it's that that you dealing with a woman. You dealing with a lady. And then if that Jezebel spirit is in your mom, and guess what, bro? She gonna use that to her advantage. You know what I'm saying? It happens. It happens. I mean, if you think about that situation that happened in Brooklyn, bro, where the mom, right? She with her son. You know what I'm saying? She with her son, and then her fries is cold. Her son get into it with the worker back there. They go outside, and her son kills the McDonald's worker. You know what I'm saying? So I think that young man was being controlled, too. And they linked him up to another murder. But any mom would try to defuse that situation. She'd be like, nah, you know what, it's cool, whatever, whatever. Because I'm pretty sure it ain't no thing just to, you know, for the McDonald's worker to go ahead and just dip them fries. I mean, who gives a fuck? I'll give you some fresh fries, fuck it. But you know what I'm saying? But the mom sat there and let that whole thing go down. And now her son is gone. 
You know what I'm saying? Now her son is gonna be doing life in jail because he was controlled by her mom, by his mom's Jezebel spirit. And who knows how long his mom been controlling them like that. You know what I mean? Got him stepping in, being the man that she don't have. You know what I'm saying? We see that shit all the time to where these women have these kids and these kids is not even their kids. These kids is like another form of their boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? doing the most heinous crimes. They doing all types of shit. And like I told you, it's like they don't even realize what they doing. It's like they under a spell. They don't know why they spending all their money. They don't know why they doing some of the shit that they do. They don't know why they have jealous and envy towards any man that even look at their girl or talk to their girl. They don't know why they getting controlled like that, bro. But guess what? It's that Jezebel spirit that got their ass. Don't let that spirit get you. Before you end up out here doing all types of shit and you and you don't even know why you doing it. You don't even know what's controlling you. Before you know it, you done killed, shot somebody, you done did some shit all behind that female. And guess what? You the one that's getting locked up. And guess what? She gonna move right on to the next dude. You know what I mean? She gonna move right on to the next dude. You know? And it's just like, man, I just wanted to share that with y'all because it's real, bruh. It's real, man. So you don't want to be controlled in no type of way. That's why we got to be here and we how to, we got to have control over ourselves. When you have control over yourself, you won't be infiltrated like that. But when you out here steady lusting, when you out here with these addictions, when you out here under the influence, when you out here with an overactive sex life, when you out here just focused on the flesh and these women, you could easily end up under a spell. So don't make women the focal point of your life That's not gonna happen When you put yourself in God first That's not gonna happen But as soon as you start getting lost In all of this bullshit out here That's when that shit gonna strike When you always under the influence and shit That's when that shit gonna strike When you out here steady watching pornography And letting them demons come in And and you know what I'm saying Enter into your soul Then that's when that shit gonna strike bruh You know what I'm saying For real for real when you out here not getting to know these women, that's when that shit gonna strike. That's when it's gonna strike. You know what I mean? When you truly care about yourself, bro, you're not gonna risk what you built for, for nobody. For nobody. You know what I'm saying? You're not just gonna give up your kingdom, bro. You know what I mean? Just because you wanna hit something. Just because, just for the flesh, dog. You're not gonna do that shit. So, what you gonna do? You're gonna try to get to know these females. Because you careful with your life. You careful with your energy, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, you ain't gonna just hand over the keys to your shit. You're gonna be like, nah, nah, I gotta get to know you. Fuck me. Fuck sitting there and me answering all the questions. What about you? How's your work ethic? You know what I'm saying? How's your attitude? You know, how do you treat, how do you treat people? How would you treat your man? You know what I'm saying? Do you know how to submit? You know what I'm saying? Do you, you know what I'm saying? Do you have any integrity? What's your character like? You know what I'm saying? Do you know, do you have, are are you feminine? You know what I'm saying? Or are you masculine? All of that shit, bro. Because that's what we dealing with a lot these days. We dealing with a lot of masculine women. You know what I'm saying? And then you're going to have people that step in like, oh, you know, if she masculine, it's because you not being masculine. It's like, yo, I get that to a certain extent. But some women, you just got out here that don't know when to turn that shit off. You know what I'm saying? When you got men that's out here really doing the best that they can, when they stepping into their masculine frame, when they in their light, and you still got some masculine women that don't know how to be feminine. You know what I'm saying? Because they not used to it. They used to being like that. But guess what? We ain't got to be with their ass because that's a lot of modern day females out here that can't get out of their masculine, but they wonder why they can't find a man. They can't get out of their masculine. They've been in their masculine so long that guess what bro they they don't know how to turn that shit off you know what i'm saying so they missing out on good men good masculine men you know what i'm saying that really want to treat them well but guess what they can't it ain't gonna work it ain't gonna work two masculine energies is not gonna work but masculine and feminine energy together listen it's a beautiful thing 
That's what people don't realize, bro. That's why I don't be over here like just bashing women. No, feminine women, femininity is a beautiful thing. You know what I'm saying? As long as you and your masculine. But if you and your feminine as a man and you got a feminine girlfriend, then guess what? That shit ain't gonna work either. That shit ain't gonna work either, bro. That's like two negatives, bro. That shit ain't gonna work. That's not gonna work, bro. But when you got masculine and feminine, bro, when they work together, bro, listen, dog. Beautiful things happen. Beautiful relationships. You know what I'm saying? Beautiful vibes. Beautiful children. Beautiful families. You know what I'm saying? Beautiful love. Beautiful love, man. But a lot of times you don't see it. Because most of these women are controlled. They taken over by that Jezebel spirit. That Jezebel spirit is eating their ass up. So all they know how to be is hoes. All they know how to be is thoughts. All they know how to be is sack chases. All they know how to do is be after motherfuckers for their money. You know what I'm saying? It always got to be on that. But it's never them in a feminine light. You know, it's never them trying to uplift the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? It's always... What can you do for me? You know what I'm saying? And that's that Jezebel spirit. Because when you can do, it, it, it's like, yo, everything depend on what you could do for them. So if you could do everything for them, then guess what? That's when they gonna open them legs up. You know what I'm saying? Like open sesame, bruh. That's when you could get in there. That's when you can get in there. When you could prove that you could do this and that and this and that, then that's when you fucking. That's that Jezebel spirit right there. You know what I'm saying? That's that Jezebel spirit because even then, they still try to take over you. They still try to control you. You know what I mean? And you got you got guys that's out there being controlled in that way. That's why they show Will Smith at the end of that clip, man. And it's like, damn. You know what I mean? It's kind of fucked up. But it is what it is, bro. He probably don't he probably don't even know why he got up and smacked the shit out of Chris Rock. But he looked at Jada and then guess what? Something just a, a something how she looked at him. Something entered into Will and controlled his ass. It almost was like when she looked at him and rolled her eyes, it was like her like sending it like it was like telepathy telling him to go get up and go do something about the shit. So guess what? He got up and he went and did something about the shit. But guess what? How you know how many motherfuckers on the streets that been influenced? By that shit and went out there and shot a motherfucker, went out there and killed a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying, went out there and stabbed a motherfucker up, then went out there and killed, you know what I mean, killed whole families, kids behind that shit, all types of shit, bro, all types of shit, bro, and that's all behind that Jezebel spirit, so I just want to share this message with y'all, man, because it's really, really real, and if you ain't got no control over that, if you ain't on no journey, if you ain't got no, if you ain't got no relationship with God, bro, listen, dog, you ain't gonna have to just worry about the Jezebel spirit, because the devil and all his demons gonna infiltrate your ass too, so listen, don't let it be you, and that's my word, man, my name, Jason, and Sin Take, holla at y'all later, man, peace. Uh, yeah. Give you this, give you that, but Cindy got nothing for you No simping in my decisions, I gotta keep it royal King shit, I'm the gift, I promise I won't adore you But I will explore you